Hey everybody, I'm currently working right now. Not working Uber, but uh, for my church. I'm just going around the neighborhood uh, delivering um, activity books for people uh, for my church. Kid stuff. Uh, seems like it's stuff for Easter. So it's good uh, to be working and it's kind of like working Uber, but delivering things like Uber Eats, but not delivering food, just delivering uh, stuff, <laughs> educational stuff. So I just finished working now. I'm at tea station, um, getting lunch. Only work for two hours a day, but better than nothing, just deliver products to like eight houses. And uh, they asked me to work again, maybe next week or so. And I said, I'll be down. I was telling them, I'm willing to work more, six hours, eight hours, I'm willing to. Better than being at home. All right, I got my food. Since I cannot dine in, I guess I have to dine here in the back of my car. So here's what I got. I also got a uh, mixed fruit drink, Sui Bo Cha. I think Tea Station's the only um, Taiwanese cafe in Convoy. There were a few a uh, couple years back, but now it's only Tea Station. Same with restaurants. A few years back, there is this really good Taiwanese restaurant called Liang Mama, Lang's Kitchen, but it's gone. It's always dead in there. I don't know why. Food's great. So whenever I'm missing Taiwanese food, I come to Tea Station now. <laughs> It feels so weird eating like this, but it's something new, so I kind of enjoy it. But for sure, I definitely rather dine in there. Yeah, so dead in convoy. It does feel like the end of the world. Or feels like feels more like post uh, apocalypse. I feel like in the to go, they gave me less meat. Cause when I died in, I had much more meat. Once all this is over, I'm definitely going to make more American Canton Eats. Did all of you enjoy the first two episodes? I guess uh, once all this is over, um, where should I go for episode three of American Canton Eats? Do one for a tea station. Like when I do American Canton Eats, um, I think it's better to have more people with me because if I'm by myself, I'm just ordering one food. And because uh, for food vlog, it's, it's good to show more like multiple um, foods. <gasps> Anyways, I said, um, if I do uh, American Canton Eats, it's better to have more people with me so I could show more food. Like, I order something and my friends order something different. We could like, um, compare. Oh, stupid me. All the meat was in here. I thought it was the soup. I guess for two goes, uh, I don't get any soup. 
because um, when we dine in, um, they give us soup. Oh, that's a lot of meat. I was gonna mix it with the rice. Ah, oh, this is really good, really, really good. Especially the sauce or soup. I'm not sure if it's the sauce or soup. Well, anyways, uh, if you mix the soup or sauce with the rice, it's really, really tasty. So far, um, the social distance thing, I mean, uh, they say it's an opportunity to um, talk to our parents more. However, my Cantonese parents, they don't want me near them at home, so I can't really talk to them. My Cantonese dad, he doesn't really talk anyways. And my Cantonese mom, um, we usually don't have a very long, peaceful conversation because uh, I'm a Hong Konger and she's a really proud um, Chinese from Guangzhou. So it's hard for us to communicate. I mean, I still love them. They're my parents, but I just don't like arguing. I like to keep the peace. Yeah, my Kathy's parents, they told me, please don't come near us. They say it's six feet, but uh, my Cantonese parents, they say at least uh, 18 feet. So times three. But I understand them because uh, my, parent, my Cantonese parents, um, they are in their late 60s. I don't want them to get sick. I don't think I have the coronavirus, but still, it's not risk it. So far, people say um, it might be over by next month, a few weeks, by summer. Some even say it might be a year I don't know however for the whole world to be back to normal that's gonna be a while or might not be back to normal at all they got rid of the SARS I mean that killed a lot of people in Hong Kong maybe uh, we'll find a way to um, get rid of it People stop eating snakes, stop eating bats, and stop eating all those weird meat. A lot of people say snake is good for our skin, but regardless if it's good or not, I don't want to eat a snake. I'm afraid of snakes too. And bats, that's just utterly disgusting. There's a place in North Park, um, I forgot the name, but um, they sell kangaroo, kangaroo burgers, alligator burgers. Definitely not going there. I think I did try alligator soup when I was in Hong Kong, but that's about it. You know, even though I'm a meat eater, I only eat like what? About four kinds of meat. Um, lamb, chicken, beef, and pork. Since I'm allergic to all seafood, I can't eat that. So, no seafood meat for me. Mm, this is really good. How's everybody doing? Are all of you safe? Even though I wasn't really ready to be back on YouTube, um, I guess uh, kind of happy to be back now. 
I wasn't sure if I was ready to come back because uh, being a YouTuber is really hard. You have to think a lot and I can't really think too much, but it's not really much thinking. I really did uh, miss um, YouTubing. Like during this uh, whole situation, like I really try not to think a lot, even though it's making me really depressed. It makes me worry about what's gonna happen to the future, my future, my education, if I'm still gonna graduate um, in time. Well, my graduation got postponed already, but um, if I'm gonna graduate uh, the year that I wanna graduate. <sighs> But I'm trying not to think about it. It's just gonna make me worry, and worry's no good. In the past, people always looked down on me because I'm I'm a, I'm in school. I remember the first time someone looked down on me was when I was 24. Yeah, when I was in Hong Kong, um, my relatives they just put me down out in the open at a restaurant full of people calling me a fai tai, which means like, I'm pathetic because I'm still in school at this age. And another relative said, they don't see pina, which means like, um, it's hard to translate it. See pina is like a dirty diaper. I'm like studying dirty diaper. It's, it's like saying like, uh, what the heck have you been studying all this time? Like, uh, it's kind of like saying, have you been studying crap all this time? To this day, I still get people um, looking down on me. At first, it made me feel like I'm a burden, but I just realized uh, people need time. Yeah, I screwed up in the past by wasting time at community college, but the bright side is I know what I want to do now. In the past, I was like, oh, I'll just do business. I'll just do um, computer engineering. I'll just do um, accounting. None of, none of those fit me because um, I suck at math. I don't want to be in the office eight hours a day staring at a computer. And it made me realize since I have a lot of language skills, why don't I be a um, translator or a t teacher in Asia? So that's what I'm aiming at and that's my goal. So I just want to tell all of you, if you're at school past 22 or 25, people look down on you, it's fine. What's important is you don't look down on yourself. If people say that you're crap, then you, you just then work hard, prove to them that you're not crap. You can do this. People will look down on you. But what's important is you don't look down on yourself. <sighs> Am I drinking soup or sauce? Okay, that kind of remind me of Jessica Simpson. Is this chicken or fish? <laughs> well, how does fish taste like? Cause I never taste fish before since I'm allergic. Does this taste like chicken? Ah, I'm done.